Hi guys, today's interview question is that what is iterable iterator and generators? So basically, this is uh, one of the uh, most uh, hot questions that, that are being asked in the interviews that uh, what exactly you understand by iterables, iterator and generators. So let me just create a list. So I'll say list LSD. Let me zoom in a bit. And I say, let's say some numbers. I'm just randomly writing some numbers. One, two, three, four. And uh, I apply a for loop on top of this. So I say for i in LSD, I'll say print i. If I run this, I could see that, you know, this for loop just iterated over each and every element of this list. And then it printed out the element. Now, anything which can get iterated upon is being called as an iterable. So over here, a list is an iterable. Why? Because each and every element inside of this list can get iterated upon. So that's good. So what's exactly is an iterated then? So uh, what happens basically that, you know, uh, we have uh, so certain objects which contains a very large amount of items inside of it. So what happens that if that object is iterable in nature, what will happen when we iterate through each and every element, all the items will get iterated at once. And if the elements are too big inside that particular iterable thing, then it's going to occupy lots of memory of your computer. So in order to resolve this particular problem, we came to something called as iterator. And uh, what happens if I simply take up this list and say iter like this, and uh, I'll just save it back into a variable called as my iterator, my iterator of OBJ, that's object, my iterator object, if I run this. So what essentially happens that I have just created an iterator object and what is the speciality about this iterator object is you can access or you can iterate each and every element one by one means not all the elements are going to get iterated at once, but one by one, you can extract each and every element present in this particular object. So what will happen? Let's say you have, you know, something which contains large amount of items in it. So if you are extracting one element out of that particular, you know, iterator thing, you can perform whatever operation you want to perform, and then you can erase that data. Then in the next time, you can iterate the next item. So what it is doing, it is not going to extract all the items present in that particular object, but one by one, as you go, as you want to give. So if I take my iterator object as such, and I say next to it like this, next and inside this, my iterator object. And if I run, you see what happened? The first element got popped out. Now, whatever operation I want to do on this, I can do and I can just delete it so that I can save some memory and I can be ready for the next element to come. Now, again, if I run this, then again, the second element popped. Out. Now, again, I say next, then three, then again, I say next four. And when the elements are over, if I say next again, it will give me an error saying soft stop iteration. Okay, that's good. So what exactly are generators? So a uh, generator are basically a kind of object only. So it is being basically used. You see, when you have an iterable, you can make it iterator using the keyword iter so every iterable can be made using can be made an iterator using iter keyword uh, but uh, if you want to create something which is iterator which is having this iteration power the way we have done till now next 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 uh, manually means using a function it can be done in this way so i'll just define a function i'll say def gen just a random name for generator and uh, I say for I in range N yield, 
So the keyword over here, instead of return, I'm using the keyword yield, yield I. Now let's run. Now what happened? This, this, this is now a generator. So now if I just create an object of this particular function, so I'll say that uh, my GEN like this, and if I say GEN four, so if I run this, now what happens? This my underscore GEN is a generator object. And now this generator object has the similar ability what an iterator used to be. Means if I simply take this object and use this next keyword, if I say my underscore gen, you see at the very first item, because if you have put gen four, the, 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 the argument that I have given over here is four. So what it's going to do that it's going to create, if it go inside this function, you'll see that range of four is getting created and the for loop is getting applied on top of this, right? But instead of return, I have used yield. It means you are not supposed to give everything at once, but one by one, you are supposed to give it to me. And when I created an object on top of it, I can use the next keyword in order to get each and every element present inside of it one by one, the way we used to get like an iterator. So I say again, next, then one, then again, go back next two, three. And finally I'll get a error stop iteration. So this was the difference between your uh, iterable iterator and generators. Okay. Thank you.